Hi guys, it's Kritika. Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday, June 15th. It's currently 10 a.m. and I have work. Um, so I graduated last month from Georgia Tech from my MBA and now I'm already working. My work started 10 days after I graduated. So technically I didn't really get a break, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so I started my work and typically, not gonna lie, I don't work out in the mornings. I typically do this in the evenings, but today I have a lot of things planned. I have to get ready for a meeting. So I figured I'm going to get my uh, workout in for the day early. I haven't even had my chai yet. So I'm really putting a lot at stake to get this workout in. And then I'll show you guys what my day looks like. Today I have a lot of work to do. I'm starting a few projects and some internal stuff. So I have a lot to do. I'll show you guys what my day looks like. So I did 30 minutes of cardio, almost two miles. Dang y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I've had no water, no nothing. So I'm gonna go upstairs and get some water. But basically, this is my home gym over here quickly. Um, I don't go to like Lifetime Fitness or YMCA, all that stuff, because I physically can't, first of all, because I'm working. And two, it's a waste of my time. I only, I only do cardio, basically. So I have the machines over here. Might as well. All right, can't talk, going upstairs. I'll have some water and then I'll, I'll talk to you guys. I took my shower and now I'm just getting some of this cleaning done. My room was such a mess. My clothes were everywhere. So I was trying to sort this out. I got my room redone last year, like end of last year. So this is what it looks like now. That's my closet and my room is all purple now. And now I am doing my makeup. Pretty light, honestly. It's just like a light touch up to my face. So I got my makeup done. Okay, so my makeup is almost done. And the only reason I'm doing this today, because I don't do this every day on a working day, is because today I have a meeting with someone from the client side who's going to interview me. So I have to get ready because I gotta look presentable, you know. But anyways, my friend gave me this rare beauty lip oil. So it's become one of my favorite products of late. And I figured I'm gonna show you guys this because I think you guys should check it out. If you guys don't like too much of lipsticks or like, you know those lip glosses that get super sticky? If you don't like that, you can definitely check out Rare Beauty's um, lip oil. I think this shade is in Delight. It's like a very lip glossy, yet gives you like a brown, brownish reddish tint. Okay, so I got my lipstick on. You guys can see, like I said, it's like a very light color. Um, the only reason I do this probably like every day is because um, I've kind of realized like my lips get very chappy these days. So because I've been using this oil, my lip has kind of started feeling better. It doesn't bleed as much. It doesn't get as chapped. So yeah, I'm almost uh, done getting ready. The lighting in my room sucks on this angle. Um, but yeah, I'm almost done getting ready. I was gonna straighten my hair, but then I changed my mind. Um, I'm going to get some work done and eat something. I haven't had my chai yet. Um, been like so busy since morning. So yeah, once I finish all this, I'm gonna go make some chai. And I was gonna go downstairs and make some chai. I was literally going downstairs and then I got an invite for a meeting. So this chai is gonna have to wait. So I came downstairs and look at these pictures that I wanted to show you guys of Sarthik and me when we were super little. And this picture as well. I think these are when we were in elementary school and middle school. And this is the entrance of my house. So I wanted to show you, this is the foyer area. And my mom has this money plant. And I'm finally making my chai. So basically I put cardamom powder and tea leaves. Let it come to a boil. And then I put in milk. And this is just until it comes to like this kind of color and my chai is ready. And this is my omelet, which was so delicious. So I finally had my chai and my breakfast um, and I have a little bit of a lunch break. So like 30 minutes-ish I'll take. And then at 12.30 I have another meeting, which I have to take. I think it's an hour long meeting. I have a couple of meetings. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that for an hour. But yeah, here I am in the kitchen because I just ate. I do 
get my laptop down here in case I have some messages coming in. Um, I'm not that person who needs like a desktop and everything. Like I gotta sit in one spot. All right, guys, I am here for a little break from work um, because I've just been consistently at it and I'm not done yet. So if you guys want to see me working, I'll show you. But yeah, I get like in focus mode um, <laughs> and I had to finish all this work because it's Thursday and I want to finish up like majority of everything before Friday because Fridays I get kind of like lazy um, in working. So yeah, bad excuse, but... I try to finish most of my work by Monday, uh, Monday to Thursday, so I can kind of have a relaxed Friday. I try to, but yeah, I'm here on my break and I got a package about a week and a half ago from Javi Coffee. Um, I also did a Javi Coffee review last year and I'll link it above over here for you guys. But Javi Coffee has come out with a protein coffee, which also has whey protein in there. This is what the package looks like. It's pretty lightweight and you open it up. They package it really well. It comes like looking like this. So it says, Javi is everyday magic, filling your cup with boundless energy so you can concentrate on more of your good things. So um, Javi's packaging for their protein coffee looks like this. Now in the other review that I made, the coffee was actually in a liquid format. This one is in a powder format. So this is their instant protein coffee in the original flavor and has 24 servings in it. So um, some great facts, it's 12.10 ounce, 100% Arabica beans, natural caffeine, 115 milligrams of caffeine. It is keto friendly and obviously your 10 grams of protein, which is important and zero sugar added. So if you guys are trying to look for like your weight loss or like you have a specific regime and a diet you're trying to follow, this coffee would not break that. Um, some people are afraid of sugars in their coffee. So like this would not go against um, your fitness regime. The backside of this has your mixing directions, supplement facts, and how much you can put in for best results. Basically you take a cup about eight to 16 ounces of water in it. You add one or two scoops of your Javi protein coffee, mix it up, put ice in it if you want to. People make all these protein shakes after their workouts. So this is gonna be like your protein shake, but like in a coffee format. Um, so it's pretty easy to make, spontaneous. You can make it very easily. It's also very lightweight. Like this is like almost like no weight in it. So um, give it a try. I'm gonna make it for myself and we'll show you guys cause I'm tired and I could really use this coffee right now. So I got some ice in here, which is pretty much melted, but I also got my water and they give a scoop inside this packet. So you take one or two scoops, whatever you want. I will be taking one scoop, adding it in here. Sarthak is recording if you wanna say hi. What's up guys, there's some protein in there. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Pretty good protein. Yeah, and 10 grams for 50 calories, that's pretty solid. Yeah, mix it in there. Um, I tasted it off camera and it was so bitter. So I did add some salted caramel flavored syrup. Obviously, this is optional. Only if you want to, I like my sugar in my coffee. Um, but if you guys don't want it, don't add it. Ah, oh, okay. So much better. Um, and I was kind of afraid that it's gonna taste a little powdery. It doesn't taste like that. This is actually pretty nice. Another cool thing that they did with this, and I just saw it, is that they give this little booklet, which basically talks about their coffee, like the origination of it and everything. And they have some very nice recipes. In the back of this booklet, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, um, and what ingredients you would need, how to make it. So if you guys wanna try different things with uh, Javi Protein Coffee, you guys can through this booklet. But yeah, overall, it's pretty easy to make. Um, I finished my coffee, it was really nice. So so yeah, I highly recommend you guys try out Javi coffee. The protein coffee is actually really nice. And you guys can try out the other coffee if you guys are not into sugar-free or like whey protein coffee. 
uh, they have other flavors and everything on their website i will link everything in the description box below so make sure to check it out this coffee does retail for 39.99 so it's almost about 40 dollars and if they do have a money back guarantee uh for 30 days um if you don't like it you can return it so that just shows that they're so confident in their product so make sure to give it a try let me know if you guys have any questions and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Javi Coffee. Thank you so much, Javi Coffee, for collaborating with me and for giving me your protein coffee to try out. I really appreciate it. And I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. So I'm back to working because I have about an hour before I log off for the day. So I am just finishing up some of the things that are left. It feels so different after my MBA to come back to work because I almost forgot what work feels like. Um, in school, it's different, right? Like you go to class, but you also have breaks in the middle. Here, it's like you have to log in from nine to five. Sometimes it can go to six or seven. So just like, it's very different. Um, and I feel like I'm still getting in the groove of things. Uh, but yeah, I think I have to just finish updating my resume really quickly. Um, get that submitted. My laptop is so light. I just travel with it up and down. Also, like now there's gonna be almost no travel and it's so heavy on work from home um, that I feel like I can just be casual and like wear whatever I want and just kind of be presentable in case there are some video calls I have to take. But other than that, it's pretty chill um, other than like finishing the work for the day. But yeah, if I had to go to the office, I would prefer that over staying at home and working, but it is what it is. And yeah, just gotta get used to it. And it is 5 p.m. I am all done. I've actually closed my laptop. If only time could fly by this fast, huh? No, I'm actually done for the day. Um, and pretty much you guys got to see what my day looks like. There are times when I disappeared from the vlog because I had so much work to do that I didn't even think about it. Um, so yeah, like from my workout to like getting my day organized, everything um, is organized on my notepad. So I'm heavy on like organizing. So for me, if I have like my timings aligned and like what task I need to do at what time, I can organize my day because being a vlogger and being a full-time um, nine to five, like, <laughs> Uh, consultant it's a lot of work and this is me without a project with a project i'll be even busier but i don't want to like just disappear from youtube and like be gone so i do have to organize my day in a way that i can also film content edit release also like learn more and watch your videos respond to comments it is a lot of work um so i try to organize my day accordingly so i can try to wrap up everything by six or seven and then i can also show you guys my routine like i did today there's no set really agenda or there's no set routine it just kind of differs based on what i really have to achieve for the day and like what's the urgency of the tasks so I do that, but it is different from Georgia Tech. Um, I'm kind of glad that I got to experience that because um, it was a nice experience. It was two years um, and it's, it's gone, it flew by, but it was really nice. So yeah guys, I am done praying. I'm back downstairs about to make some chai because it is almost 5.30 p.m. So I'm gonna make some chai. And yeah, that's it pretty much for my day in life as a consultant working nine to five. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as you guys gave me support and loved my Georgia Tech videos. Please let me know if you guys would like more of this or if it was boring, whatever it is, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please try out Javi Coffee. Let me know how it is. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And don't forget to hit the bell notification for future updates. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Peace.